Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Susie. Thank you so much for stopping by. In my channel, we do like lifestyle content, fitness content, chit chats, vlogs, makeup, like everything, skincare, literally everything. So we're just gonna be catching up today. We're gonna be chit chatting, talking about a couple of different things. So stay tuned. So I really feel like I have to reintroduce myself and kind of just give like a background on <laughs> where I was when I first started this YouTube channel and where I am now. So this channel started off as Miss Berhain and if you guys recall, if you're somebody who was there at that time, um, I was doing a bit of hair review videos back when like Alibaba was the place to get hair and I don't think anybody like even knew about you know bundles what a time the YouTube landscape back then was so different but anyway so that was when I was in college and then I started doing these kind of chit chat videos which is hence why we're here again because I really did enjoy the chit chat videos like I really enjoyed just coming on camera and at the time, I was using it as a way to kind of like a diary, you know? These these vlogs or these videos, they were just my like journal or diary entries that I was just sharing with all of you. And it made me feel... That time of my life was very uncertain and doing YouTube kind of added a level of certainty for me. And a lot of that uncertainty was having to do with my major which when I first started college, it was international business and hence that is why I started studying Japanese. And then I switched over to international studies and after one really bad semester and I never let go of Japanese and then I started using YouTube as a platform to talk about my Japanese studies. Fast forward, the Japanese studies took me to <laughs> Korea. <laughs> it took me to South Korea and it took me to Japan and I was vlogging doing a lot of videos living in Korea. This was back in 2013, 2014, um, back when God Big Bang and 21 and Girls Generation and oh man I don't even those were the days, those were the K-pop days. Like when people were not K-pop stands, those were the K-pop days. And no, we're not running away from any topic today. Um, this channel has like really been through a lot. I was, I had a boyfriend who was Korean and that was, I think we had did some content together on this channel and we had gotten pretty far in our relationship. And then um, him and I decided to go separate ways and then my channel kind of took like a different shape. Then fortunately and unfortunately, um, there was a lot of people I think that were interested in that content because it was so new at the time, the A and B W content, Asian man, black women. And uh, I think that definitely was a interesting period of growth for my channel because there were some people who were there for that. There were some people who were not who had left once him and I had ended. But fortunately for me, I had been able to transition at that point and then I started focusing on working at a Japanese um, company. Working at the Japanese company for four years is where I think a lot of you joined me uh, because during that time I was starting to do more beauty videos as well. I was definitely doing Asian skincare videos and I picked that up from my time in Asia, living in Korea. And then I was basically telling a lot of you how I used my degree from school to end up working um, between US-Japan relations. And that was really what I thought my life would be for, for a long time. Um, and it was hard. It was hard in that setting, but I was really proud of that period of my life. And I was proud speaking Japanese and knowing Japanese and being uh, at the time, one of the only black people at the organization. And then there I met one of my best friends. She, I met her at work over there. She was the only other black girl I had met there. And her and I were just like, like two black girls who found our way 
uh, at the same organization after living in Japan teaching English. It kind of was like fate. So the channel then went from that to then I took a little hiatus uh, because I stopped doing beauty videos. And then you'll find some vlogs, you know, I really enjoyed the vlogs. I remember I took you all on my journey of doing braces and I try to create playlists of these periods of time in my life and of the YouTube channel. So I have made, I've made these various playlists for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, for, but also for those of you who do know what I'm talking about. I didn't want it to be like I was never going to acknowledge where my channel has been this kind of up and down up and down but I wanted to but that's life right like we all have these periods of life where we just kind of go we go here and then we go there we go here and then we go there we go here and we go there and I understand that I've taken everybody on this channel who've been with me from the beginning like through a, a lot of different stages but that's that's been my life so I I'm really happy that I have it you know chronicled because now when I think back to some of these periods whether it be good or bad I know that hey I actually documented this period of my life and sometimes I go back and I watch some of these videos and I think back to where I was when I made this video or what was going on in my life when I made this video and I realized that I have changed and I have grown a lot but I'm still the same old Susie B like seriously somewhere along the line I got into health and fitness uh, around I think it was like 2018 and my life changed and I was somebody who was getting into it more so because I think I was kind of going through like the the mental trauma of working of being the only black person in an organization of <laughs> of like ups and downs in my relationships in my romantic relationships in my platonic relationships and i found fitness and fitness was there for me fitness was extremely there for me and that's when i started trying to incorporate it more on this channel i feel like i've done every little thing that has been on youtube but i just never stuck around if something got tough for me i stepped away from YouTube and I stepped away from YouTube a few times I'm, I'm not gonna shy away from it I stepped away from YouTube a few times call it the Pisces in me or call it the Jersey in me but if something is going on in my life and it's tough I don't have the bandwidth to also stick to YouTube and YouTube was starting to become a lot more complicated. It wasn't just these chit chat videos. Like the, the level of videos that were being produced and the frequency at which they were being produced. And then we started getting, you know, YouTubers, like people who were actually building careers off of YouTube. It, it felt stressful. It felt like another job. And at that time in my life, listen, honey, working, being the only black person in an Asian company was hard enough and figuring out the dynamics of my personal life was super duper hard and I was still trying to figure out if I was going back to Asia trying to get the visa situated it was just so hard it was so hard and I look back at it now and I kind of regret it I kind of regret that I stepped away from YouTube one thing that I always realize about YouTube is you think you're alone in something until you get on the internet, you bear your soul to the world and somebody tells you in a comment that they too are going through that. And some of the things that I was going through, I, it, I often thought that I was the only one going through it, but I have learned since as I've matured and gotten older that it's very oftentimes not the case that there are others who go through what you go through. You just have to be willing to share this and you have to be willing to not suffer in silence. So. I do regret that but I found what I needed in my IRL experiences in my professional and personal growth and the first thing was honey I had I had to leave my job and I feel like we all may have that experience at one point in time in our lives but I had to leave I had to leave and in leaving my job 
I disappointed a lot of people. I disappointed a lot of people because I left something that I had built up for myself. I left something that was secure. I left something that a lot of people didn't even understand in the first place, how did I get here? And that's also like another thing, right? It was always about like what I could say and what I couldn't say on YouTube. And some people knew I was doing YouTube um, that worked at my job. Like for example, I don't know if you guys remember Yu Yakun. We used, we used to make videos together. We used to get lunch together. We used to talk about anime updates together, manga updates together. And like he knew that I was doing YouTube videos, but I've always been really conscious about what I said about my job online and at that time I was working at a kind of sensitive location and so it was just I felt like I couldn't be myself I couldn't be myself at home <laughs> I couldn't be myself at work and I just I had to go so I left my job and that was a fucking hard pill to swallow so I left doing that in the US Japan space and then I went to the private sector and that was completely different for me. I went to the private sector and then once I went to the private sector, I also went back to graduate school and I'm actually about to enter into my last semester. So this is what I'm talking about, like kind of like bringing it all together about this like chronicling of where you were at your life at different points. And this is something that talking to you all, this is what this does for me. It helps me grow as a person. It helps me reflect on where I've been and, and it helps me feel like I'm sharing my story in hopes that it will impact somebody else who watches it. So now here we are, a long roundabout way of saying that, and we are about to enter into one year since I purchased my own house. And even I remember making the video on YouTube last year when I bought this house and how hard it was. Oh my gosh, so we're about to be in a year of being homeowners and what a crazy year it's been. We are entering into our last semester of graduate school. What a crazy time it's been. And we are entering into two years of being a dog mom. Well, we've already passed two years of being a dog mom. What an even crazier time that has been, being the dog mom of a rescue who was going to be put down has come with so much growth like that has been the biggest challenge of my life he has taught me so much about myself and sometimes i think back to the susan i was when i started this youtube channel and i'm about to really date myself so i think i started this youtube channel in 2010. <laughs> i believe my first video was well, maybe my first year might have been like February or March of 2011, but I started this YouTube channel in 2010. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. I'm just so happy to be here and I'm so happy for the journey and for the growth. And I'm going to continue to grow, God willing, and continue to have different pieces of the journey. But I want to share it with you all. And if nothing else, I really do believe that the more we talk about the things that happen to us, the more they lose their power over us and then the more we help others gain their power back. So I hope that you will allow me to continue to transform this channel. I hope that you will join me for the ride. I'm really happy to be here. If you have been here from the very beginning, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know I have taken you all over the place. and. If you're new here, I'm really happy to have you here as well. If there's one thing I can promise you is that I will always be as true to myself as I can be. My goal is to be able to make somebody's life better even for a moment, at least for a moment. That's my personal goal. So I hope that you find these videos entertaining informative peaceful funny anything i hope it makes you feel and i hope that you stick around and if not i hope that wherever life is taking you it's to a place that you're going to be happy and free so that's going to be it for this video thank you guys for allowing me to come on here and be myself i appreciate each and every one of you and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video okay minasan Bye-bye.